many of you have asked for it and today I finally deliver. We are here at the 161st Street Yankee Stadium station for the next installment in my Mystical Station series. This station, located in the Bronx, is served by the 4 and D trains at all times and the B train during weekday rush hours. Here we stand on the 4 platform on the IRT Jerome Avenue line. This platform was the first to be built at this station and was opened on June 2nd, 1917 as part of a shuttle service between 149th Street and Kingsbridge Road. This was until the connection to the IRT Lexington Avenue line opened the very next year, which allowed trains from Manhattan to serve this station and the rest of the Jerome Avenue line. At the time, the station was only called 161st Street as the nearby Yankee Stadium had not been built yet. Soon after the opening of the stadium, it appeared on subway maps. However, Yankee Stadium was not officially added to the name of the station until 1972, when the Vignelli subway map released. As you may have noticed, the platforms at this station are unusually long, and this is to better handle the crowds of people on game days. This is one of the most used stations in the outer boroughs, and having only one exit for 500 feet worth of people is a disaster waiting to happen. The main staircase to the platforms are at the center of the station, and there are a few more exits near the southern end that are only open on game days. Taking a look just north of the station, we see that the trackways expand outward, and this is remnants of the old 9th Avenue elevator connection that used to be here. Just north of the 161st Street station, the 9th Avenue elevated line connected with the Jerome Avenue line, which allowed for those trains to either terminate at the nearby 167th Street station or run all the way up to Woodlawn. Most of the 9th Avenue elevated line was closed in the early 1940s, however, a small portion of the line remained between 155th Street and 167th Street. This small portion of the 9th Avenue line earned the name of the Polo Ground Shuttle. Unfortunately, the Polo Ground Shuttle ended service in August of 1958, however, small pieces of the old rail line remain today. Moving downstairs to the B and D platforms, we enter I and D territory. This part of the 161st Street station is located on the I and D concourse line and was opened in July of 1933, nearly a year after the opening of the I and D's first line, the 8th Avenue line. The station was named 161st Street River Avenue due to the station being located at the intersection of the two streets. Until the 1950s, the Concourse and Jerome Avenue platforms were not connected, and transfers were collected via paper tickets. This was similar to the situation at the nearby 155th Street station in Manhattan, where paper tickets were accepted as transfer between the IND Concourse line and the 9th Avenue elevated line. All throughout the mezzanine, the exterior of the station, and on the Concourse line platforms, you can find cool pieces of artwork. This here is named Wall Slide by Vito Aconci and was installed in 2002. It's unique when compared to some of the other art pieces in our system. While those are usually paintings on some of the walls, this consists of the walls literally moving and sliding out of place. Some of the walls even form into seats, which you can use to rest your legs while you wait for your 20 minute D train during the overnight. The concourse line platforms are curved, which allows for some nice photos of R68s coming around a bend. What are all of your thoughts on the 161st Street Yankee Stadium Station? 
Tell me in the comment section below. Personally, I like the design of it, however, I'm not too much of a fan where this station is located. It's a bit of a, uh, problematic area. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to get more from Mystic Transit, like, subscribe, and consider supporting me via channel memberships or super thanks. Special thanks to the RC from the NYC and Damien's Transit and Health Bar videos for supporting me at the Train Operator tier.